Hey bros, I'm Frank. This is another episode of Nerf Combos. In this episode, we're covering the Nerf Ion Fire. The Ion Fire in the Modulus line is a single shot breech loading pistol that comes with a little ammo holder and a little front barrel attachment. Combo space, front barrel, stock, top and bottom, so let's get into them. Starting out with my personal combo. I'd rather go empty handed than use that thing. Sorry guys, I actually nerf. No, I will not use a breech loading non-magazine fed blaster. Even as a backup pistol, who wants to breech load? That's super slow and difficult to holster. No, thank you, sir. I will have many other blasters instead. Unless there was some way to make it like an effective backup, like a melee toy or something. Well, okay, fine. If it can magically turn into that, then cool, I could use that. If I was in a really melee mood, I suppose I could use that as a glorified melee handle. So then you can just safely do that. Yeah, so I suppose um, that is my personal combo. The next combo is the Secret Agent Assassin. Sound effects not included. So this is the entire combo because um, this is what the secret assassin guys use, at least on the, on the movies. More practical, probably not, but it looks cool and it gives you a good reason to walk around the nerf field like this all the time. And come on, it's really fun to take that off, especially if you have a little cargo pocket, you can just be like, oh. Suppress a time. Let's get into some ninja action. <laughs> that is the secret agent assassin combo. Pretty simple, just the uh, specter barrel, but you know. The next combo is CQB Guru. The combo optimized for close quarters battle, of course, CQB. This is about as optimized as a single shot breech loader can get, because really, if you're going CQB, high rate of fire is like essential. But whatever, some people want to be really unique, and I guarantee there will be very few of these on any CQB field. Stock ion fire front barrel extension, because honestly, most barrel extensions look really silly on this minimized front and homemade flashlight because, you know, CQB SWAT style torches are absolutely mandatory. Modulus sight because it looks cool with this combo and the Star Wars miniature stock because it's really miniature and, you know, it's optimized for, you know, super close quarters, turning around corners super fast because the barrel length is always obnoxious, long stocks get in the way and whatever. So CQB or hobbits, pick one. That is the CQB guru combo. <laughs> Next up is the sniper status. Every blaster has to have a sniper status, but this is the Pistol guy sniper status. A pistol sniper? Is it a contradiction? Absolutely, but um, here's a combo for it anyways. Modulus long range barrel, a few modulus barrel extensions of course guys. Longer the barrel, the longer the range, the longer the accuracy, super elite accuracy, super stable barrel as you can see. Up top, uh, two long shot scopes, one blue and one orange, because it's the tactical rainbow, and the tactical rainbow helps you shoot more accurately, especially when it's in optics. <laughs> and then up top is the uh, another modulus scope. Are they aligned? Uh, no, but they look cool. Ish. Underneath, two vertical foregrips and one bipod. So what's with this? Foregrips, because it's the pistol edition. You don't have a stock to stabilize your shot. So you run around with a foregrip. A sniper rifle designed to shoot from the hip? Yeah, that's effectively what this is. Tactics. Why two? Because this is the super stable position. This is the less stable position, and it kind of helps you if you want to shoot like a gangster, you know, stability, whatever. And the bipod mostly just to confirm the appearance of a sniper. You're probably not going to use it, um, but you can. And it doubles, as you know, a hand crusher, because that's useful. And obviously no stock because it wouldn't be a pistol with a stock. That is the sniper status combo, pistol edition. <laughs> and the last combo is the hashtag YOLO. If you're using the ion fire, you're clearly not in it to win it because it's a single shot breech loader. So you might as well just scream, I am so not in this to win this. YOLO. Woo! The combo includes a few modulus barrel extensions, a, a chainsaw up top, a vertical grip upside down because YOLO, that's the reasoning for everything here, a laser sight blocked by um, the bipod, the laser is shooting backwards, it's not even a laser, it's more like a red flashlight, how pointless, the rebel line, whatever. <laughs> Bipod mounted up top, just in case you know you visit Australia and you want everything to make sense, but you still have this one. You're like, whoa, oh, stateside again. Woo, yay. This side of the equator is awesome. Another vertical grip, modulus splash shield facing the wrong way, but you know, you can keep your splashes from your opponents when you're hit firing. You're like, oh, oh, good thing I had a shield or I would have got you there. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> modulus sniper scope because it's a really good handle. That's, that's why. Another vertical grip mounted up top, just in case you have the, the urge to shoot like this, because that's cool. In the true YOLO part, modulus stock with a magazine without the ability to accept mags. So, you know, that is as YOLO as it gets. You can kind of shoot it upside down, sideways. It makes sense any direction because it doesn't make sense in any direction. Think about it. Your orientation is simply relative, just like in Australia or the Enders game. This combo is the hashtag YOLO because sometimes you just want to run into a nerf war and just scream, hashtag YOLO, and you have to verbalize hashtag. It's a rule. That's the combos video for the Nerf Modulus Ion Fire. Would you like to see a different blaster featured in a combos video? Leave a comment in the section below. I'm Frank, as always, thanks for watching, and remember, stay tactical.